Right, this is the scrap wood cab build. So I've, I've cut these side pieces to shape uh, roughly. Uh, they need a little bit of uh, shaving and whatnot to fit each other. There they are, uh, those two. And uh, that baffles there for measuring and stuff. There's the top, that's the, sorry, that's the bottom and that's the top bit in there. This was purely freehand. Uh, no measuring, I just stuck the jigsaw on it and, and wiped it through. I was just holding it down with my foot. <laughs> um, I, I'll never get a cut as close to perfect as that ever again. Probably not even with measuring it. There you go, look at that. They are almost, I'd say, they are as close as you'll ever get where are we? to being exactly the same size. There you go. So maybe that's my luck has run out. We'll see. Right, so here are all the parts now for the cab. These, I know, it just looks like a pile of scrap wood, which is basically what it is. Right, so, so here we have the, the shape of the cab. That's basically it. The sloped front, angled front. Um, obviously it'll have some rubber feet on the bottom. It really is, um, really, it, it's, it's a piece of junk. I mean, it's, it's, it's all it is, it's scrap wood, but I didn't want to spend any money at all. I wanted to use only, only stuff I've already got. At least it's starting to look like a cab, even if it does look like a pretty atrocious one. If it sounds good, that's all I really care about. And it actually, I think it actually will look pretty good by the time I've finished it. So here is the cab in all its glory, its ragged glory. Um, it's a bit dark in here, but uh, get the idea. Closed back. Um, nothing's been sealed or covered or anything like that yet. I'm going to cover it with Tolex or something like that, probably. Um, I'm going to put corner protectors on the corners. And I'm going to put grill cloth on the front, of course. Um, I'm thinking of putting just the, um, the typical the Fender Sparkle grill cloth. I've got a speaker jack uh, mounting plate thing to, to do at some point, so I need, to, I need to cut a hole in the back. By the way, this was also done with no power drill. So I had a jigsaw just to cut things, and I had a sander, which I haven't actually used yet. My power screwdriver also has gone wrong. The power supply has died, so the batteries ran out and I couldn't charge it. So I, in the end, I had to use the drill bit that came with the screwdriver set and this, and it's all manual. My hand hurts <laughs> after a day's, day's worth of um, manual drilling. So there you go. Um, I wouldn't advise uh, do it regularly. It's, uh, it's pretty painful. Here is a sneak preview of the Tatty 2x8 cab. I shall be doing some write-ups about this and I will be doing a proper in-depth review when I've completely finished it. In other words, covered it, tidied it up, and made it look nicer. But in short, it's made out of scrap that I had lying around, plywood, and the two speakers I already had, the Celestian TN0820 lightweight, high-powered eight-inch speakers. And I cut the holes in the baffle smaller than the speakers uh, for a couple of reasons. One, to make it easier to just position the speakers without uh, making any mistakes and two attaining the beaminess of speakers so this is an experiment but oh and and the baffle was too short so there ended up being a gap at the bottom but that gap has proved to be quite a nice feature because i think it's the reason why this cab does not sound as boxy as i was expecting it to sound so um, it actually sounds quite nice and i think with a little bit of tweaking this is going to sound pretty good and as a, a lightweight cab to take to gigs, this is going to be a winner. So here's a quick sound sample. Thank you. 